If your soil is heavy in clay or so sandy that water moves through too quickly, soil amendments can improve the soil, making it a better environment for plant roots. A soil amendment can help retain nutrients and water in a sandy soil. For a clay soil, you'll have better drainage and nutrients will be more available when you add amendments. Economical amendments include compost, manure, and shredded leaves, while sphagnum peat, perlite, and vermiculite are relatively more expensive. Sand, wood ash, and topsoil are usually poor amendment choices. Consider using these good economical amendments. Compost, often called black gold by gardeners, is decomposed plant material. Tree twigs and leaves, grass clippings, and pruning trimmings make up most of the material in a finished compost. You can make your own or purchase compost. Many municipalities have created their own products and make them available for free or at a low cost. When using manure to amend your soil, be sure it has composted for at least six months. Any manure aged less than six months has a high potential to burn plants. Also, pathogens in fresh manure can pose a health risk to humans, particularly if the manure is used in a vegetable garden. For this reason, fresh manures are best added to flower beds and shrub borders. Commercially processed manure from garden centers should stay on the package if it is pathogen free. Soils with ongoing applications of manure can develop high salt levels over time. This can kill plants, so be sure to test your soil to monitor these levels. And what can be more economical than shredded leaves? Autumn is a great time to collect some of the organic material falling from trees and shrubs. Both leaves of deciduous trees and the needles of evergreens can be added to gardens in the fall. It's best if leaves and needles are shredded before tilling them into the garden. This speeds the decomposition process by allowing beneficial microorganisms greater contact with the leaf surfaces. You might be interested in some of the higher cost amendments, such as sphagnum peat, vermiculite, and perlite. Besides having a low pH, sphagnum peat is an excellent soil amendment for sandy soils where you want greater moisture. Cost-wise, it's more expensive than compost, manure, or shredded leaves. Both vermiculite and perlite are classified as inorganic soil amendments because they're from minerals, not from things that were once alive. They are heated to very high temperatures and they expand. Their contribution to soil fertility is minimal while their porosity is high. Although expensive, perlite and vermiculite are good amendments for clay soils because they will increase porosity. If you can't find vermiculite or perlite at garden centers, you might find them sold as insulation in construction supply stores. Finally, there are some materials that are just not recommended to use as soil amendments. These include sand, topsoil, and wood ash. Sand seems like an obvious choice to loosen a clay soil. The reality is that sand added to clay will decrease soil tilth, resulting in a brick-like soil. Not a good thing. Bagged in bulk products advertised as topsoil may be anything but that. Since there's little regulation concerning topsoil, the history, source, and herbicide residues in the product are unknown. Unless you can verify this information, it's best not to use topsoil products as soil amendments. A small amount of wood ash may be added to garden soil, but keep in mind that wood ash has a high salt content that makes it an unsuitable amendment when added on an ongoing basis. If your soil test results indicate an organic matter content of less than 3%, consider adding organic matter to your soil. Recommendations from Colorado State University Extension are to apply 3 cubic yards of amendment per 1,000 square feet. Contact your local extension office to determine what's suitable for your area. This program was written by Kathleen Q and narrated by Jan Hingstrom, both with the University of Nebraska Extension.